Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have yet another new thing for you guys for unboxing. This is 850 watt power supply made by EVEA. So as you know guys, I am doing a project to make an ultimate astrophotography image processing rig so that you have all the required necessary processing power that you need for processing your images from your astrophotography session. As you know guys, stacking takes a lot of uh, processing powers and image processing powers from your CPU and your GPU. So I am going to build an ultimate rig for it. As you know guys, I have done already lot many unboxings for the equipment that I'm going to use. If you have not seen those videos, I will put the link in the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. Ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or specifications that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. As you know guys, I have been using lot of equipments with high power requirement to make this rig. So I am going to use this huge power supply. This is 850 watt bronze power supply. This is bronze rated 80 plus made by EVEA. So before we start with the unboxing, let us see what is there on the cover and what information does it provide. So on the top, you have the branding of the manufacturer. It is made by EVEA. It is 850BQ, which is basically 850 watt bronze power supply, which is also mentioned here. It is 850 plus bronze. So this is bronze rated power supply, 850 watt made by EVEA. On the sides, you have nothing more than the branding. Let us see on the other side other side you have nothing it's plain so and at the bottom you see you also have the branding of EVEA 850BQ with the model number is 850BQ now let us see at the back what it has to offer uh, the feature what it shows it, it has a modular design stable power with low electric ripple and noise provides up to 70 ampere 840 watt onto plus 12 volt rail it is Japanese main capacitor, completes protection with OPP, OVP, UVP, SCP, OCP and OTP. It has 140mm Teflon neon steel bearing fan, active power factor, uh, correction of APFC and it has 5 volt supply, 3.3 volt DC to DC converter design. It Compliant with IC62368, compliant with ERP LOT3 2014 requirement, compliant with ATX 12 volt V2.52 and EPS, 1, uh, EPS 12 volt specifications. Outstanding 5 year warranty. So here it shows the efficiency graph. It says EVAV bronze rated power supply brings around 85% of efficiency with the typical load. Our bronze rated power supply provides clean and efficient power supply. As you see, it has modular design, DC to DC converter, Japanese capacitors. So it is high end capacitor does it use and ultra quiet 140 mm TNB fan. So this is a huge fan so that it provides enough cooling for this huge power supply so here there are some of the specifications more given it comes with a cable of mb cable type atx 24 20 plus 4 pin 1 cpu power supply it comes with eps power supply pcie power supply sata power supply for 5 pin 3 and then you have for 5 pin 4 and then it has multex 4 pin cross 2 and multex 4 pin 3 plus fdd 1 so quantities of cables are also mentioned here if you want you can go through it let us see some of the power rating specification that it gives its ac input that it takes is 100 to 240 volt 12 ampere to 8 ampere it is 60 hertz to 50 hertz power supply so i think it is universally acceptable power supply that it makes so output is 3.3 volt plus 5 volt and plus 12 volt Maximum current rating it gives is 24 ampere, 20 ampere and 70 ampere. So it, it is combined uh, wattage power that it gives is 160 watt and 840 watt. Uh, total 840 watt can be given to this 12 volt power supply that it gives. So total power output is around 850 watt. So that is what is there on the specifications and electrical specifications that it has. So now let us start with the unboxing and see what is there inside the box. So as you can see it comes with an external packing as well so first we'll remove this external packing so 
So as you can see, this is the nice mint box that it comes in. It looks very nice and clean. Now let us open and see what is there inside. Let us break the seal. Now let us open it. So as you can see, this is the first look of the content that it comes in. As you can see, this is very organized. So topmost thing, first thing that comes into your hand is the user manual, how to use this power supply and how to connect and use the ratings and specifications. I will be doing another video on how to connect this to your motherboard and different accessories that you have for your PC. So I will keep this user manual aside for now. Let us see what else you have. So these are the cables that it comes with. As you know, this is a modular power supply. So it comes with enough cables so that you have enough wires to connect all your peripheral requirements that you have. So uh, these are too many cables that it comes with, which is nice. So on the side, it comes with the power cord as well. So let's keep the power cord aside as well. So here you have some extra attachment and the screws that it comes to attach your power supply to the cabinet. It also comes with the nice tie as well so that uh, you can tie up your cables and bunch it together so that it does not move around or fall around. So which is also something which is very nice and uh, very useful to have. And the last thing that it comes with is the power supply itself. Uh, so this is a huge and heavy power supply that it comes with. There is nothing more in the box. So I will keep the box aside for now and let us see what all these equipments are one by one. So let's start with the power cord itself. So let us open the power cord and see how does it look like. So as you can see, this is a thick heavy duty cable that it comes with as you know this is an 850 watt huge power supply so it will draw a lot of current from your AC power supply which is why it has a nice thick power cable that it comes with so this is the power cable that it comes with this is the tie that it comes with as we saw uh, so this is for tying up all your wires together or and bunching it together so it has a small notch on the top and then you have a thin, uh, thin top so that it goes inside and it sticks inside so which is a nice addition as well. So these are the bunch of cables, uh, your SATA cable, your PCIe cables, your motherboard cables. We'll go these in details when I will be doing and connecting this to the motherboard. So for this, for now, I'm not going to go in detail. So these are pretty standard cables that it comes with. Now let us see what else it has. So it has a pair 12 pin connector uh, that it comes with and along with some of the screws for attaching this uh, power supply to your cabinet. So this comes with jumper as well. So that is a nice thing to have. So let's keep this aside. Now let us open the main equipment itself. Once you remove the bubble wrap, this is how the top side looks like. It has a big fan on the top. As you know, this is 140mm big fan. So it provides adequate cooling for your huge power supply. As you know, this is the 850 watt power supply. So it will be obviously generating a lot of heat. So you need a bigger fan to keep it cool and make it work on an optimum temperature. So this is how your top look likes. So here, uh, let us see on the side, uh, what does it look like? So here, as you see, it is a hybrid design for modular and fixed cable design. So as you can see, this is 20 pin connector, four pin connector and some PCI connector, which is permanently attached to this power supply. And then you have the modular design. So basically it has three set -in power supply, one CPU power supply, two VGA power supply and two for peripheral. So basically it has around five, six pin connectors and three, eight pin connectors for the modular design. Now let us see on the side uh, what it has. On the side, it says the same thing as on the top of the box with the AC power input. It says uh, different wattage that it use. Uh, so in net, it total it outputs as 850 watt at any point of time. So that is what it want to say. I have already gone through the specifications for this power rating. So 
on the other side as well so you see the same power rating is there now let us see on this side what is there so in this side you see here you connect your power supply and this is your on off switch for the power supply that you have so this is your main power switch and then it is perforated design to keep the airflow and keep it cool so i think that is it guys this is how your 850 watt power supply looks like as you know guys i will be doing another video on how to connect this power supply to your motherboard and other peripherals so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on any future videos that i have to share with you guys so i hope you guys like this video if you like this video please hit that like button and if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies